I'm so glad you guys are joining us today. Hi everyone, we're so glad you guys are joining us today. Abigail and Liam here, and we are so excited we, you are joining us. We're going to be looking into the Bible because the Bible is the uh, truth. The Bible is the uh, truth. Amen? The Bible is the truth. It's absolute truth. And say, repeat after me. I, I love love the truth the truth amen amen what's something else the bible is the a sword of the spirit yes and yes it's the sword of the spirit and is it like a spiritual sword like wow wow that you kill people with no. what is it it's the bible exactly it's the word of god and how do we activate it by speaking it what's something else the bible is a light a light it shows what does a light do like Think of a flashlight. It's dark, and you want to find your way. Like you lost a toy outside, and you want to try to find. Or there's it. no stars, you can't find it. With, so you need to. Yes, use a flashlight. Well, you're gonna use the flashlight to show you where it is, where to go, and what not to step on if there's something sharp on your way. So that's kind of like what the Bible is. It tells us what to do and what not to do. What is good? What is not good? Amen. What's something else? Uh. Our daily bread. The Bible is our daily bread. And what does daily mean? Every day. Every day. So does that mean I do it once a month? No. What? Once a week? No. What about once two days? No. Uh, well, what about every day? Yes. Exactly. So that's what the Bible is. The daily means every day. And what does what's bread? It's like spiritual. It's not natural bread that you eat but when you eat natural bread or food it strengthens you and it empowers you that's kind of like what the bible is it's our daily bread we eat, when we read it every day daily then it grows us spiritually amen all right the bible is also active and, and full, full of, of power. power all right let's bow our heads and close our eyes because we are going to get into our lesson today Father God, I thank you for today. Teach us more about you as we look into your Bible. Thank you, God. It's alive, full of power. It is the truth. So thank you, God. We're going to learn more from it as we learn about obeying your parents. In Jesus' name, amen. Real quick, let's do the obedience song. That's the very first song we um, taught you guys. And if you have been watching the Daily 15, the I've, like when we first started this chant, this um, broadcast, then you should know this song. Ready, set, go. O-B-E-D-I-E-N-C-E -E -E. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Doing exactly what the Lord commands, doing it joyfully, whoopee. Action is the key to immediately, to show that you believe. So there are two parts in the Bible. There are the Old Testament and the, and the New, New Testament. Testament. Today we are going to be looking at the New Testament, which is the end of the Bible. There's also four Gospels, Leanne. Tell them. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Say it with Liam. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Amen. All right, so today we are going to be looking at Colossians, which is in the New Testament, but it's not one of the Gospels. Colossians chapter 3, and if you are a rising oak, you should know that the, um, and you go to the Oak Center, you should know that the big number is the chapter. We're going to Colossians chapter 3. Colossians is your chapter chapter 3 and we're going to go to verse 20 and we are going to be talking about obeying your parents like we have been doing the last couple of days all right colossians chapter 3 verse 20 says children if you're a child the bible's talking to you even if you're not a child this is still for you but it's specifically a command for children children obey your parents in all things for this is well pleasing to the lord Amen. Let me read it one more time. Children, children, obey your parents. Obey your parents. In all things. In all things. For this is. For this is. Well pleasing. Well pre pleasing, pleasing to the Lord. To the Lord. All right. So it's this chapter verse is saying, children, if you are a child, it's talking to you. Obey your parents. Why? For this is and for this is well pleasing to the Lord. And do we want to please the Lord? Yes. Of course. 
course we do. He's our God. He's our Lord. So we want to please him. Liam, for example, um, let's say mommy asks you to wipe the table or like, here, let me think of a better. Oh, to a vacuum. What would you do? Obey her. Obey her. And what? how do you obey her? You say, okay, mommy. And you go with a cheerful attitude. That's a big one. You have to be cheerful when you're obeying. You can't be grudgingly, which means sloppy, mad, with a bad attitude. Go cheerfully, grab the vacuum, and vacuum it. And what? that's obeying your parents. But not only that, you're pleasing the Lord. So, when you, when when your parents ask you to do something, either that if that's to do your homework, like I said, vacuum, put your books away, clean your room, then then just do it and with a cheerful attitude. That's specifically what I want to talk to you guys about today and obeying your parents, your attitude. It's very important that you have a good attitude. Why? Because that affects what you're doing. So, like, if your parents ask you, if you're older and your parents ask you to dust, well, it, I'm guilty of this, but if, if you have a bad attitude and you grab the rag, you're slamming it down, you're making mad faces, you're slamming down, you're picking up books, wiping it, and then slamming it down. That is a bad attitude. It's not, it's not cheerfully. So we want to obey the Lord, our parents cheerfully with the right attitude, attitude. And then that's when we please the Lord. Right, Leah? Right. Exactly. So that's why I want you children to get out of it today, out of this lesson today, to obey your parents, but not only that, with a cheerful attitude. All right. All right. Well, Liam, let's say goodbye to the children. Okay. Bye. Bye. We love you and we will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.